before I show you guys the actual reveal, let's go through the whole process. It's it's pretty interesting. Another desk setup. It's absolutely wild and expensive to make these type of videos, but this one was definitely needed. If any of you work at a big four, I know your busy season is coming soon, and so other than getting my girlfriend ready for it, I thought maybe let's make a video about it and give people great ideas on how to make those months a lot easier for them. So here I am making a new desk setup for a KPMG senior CPA accountant. Okay, so keep in mind this is all being built at my new condo. I'm very much doing my girlfriend some sort of makeover and make making sure I bring all of the things she loves and more in this space. The very first challenge for us was to find her a proper desk with some great accessories and because she loved the desks we saw at Ergon Office a few weeks ago, Ergon Office were really kind enough to send us their suede desk with white legs, their maple top, their cable management solution with a power bar to keep all of her things tidy and other things such as a filing cabinet, their almost perfect power bar outlet and my girlfriend's favorite one, their laptop stand. All of it together, it really isn't that long to build. I think it took me an afternoon to get the legs assembled to the desktop, install the cable management rack with the power bar, run a few cables as well as the assembly of the filing cabinets, the power outlet and overall doing some cleanup. If you do decide to go with Ergon Office, honestly, don't sweat it. They have great instructions on how to get things up and running. The only few tips I would have to give is try not to build all of the stuff by yourself. This old table is 100% real wood and it's so freaking heavy. Also, use our website if you don't understand certain parts of the assembly process and most importantly, when installing any sort of cable management racks, make sure you leave enough space within the edge if you plan on putting monitor arms. Now, building desk setups is definitely complicated, especially if you live in a condo building and you have to go up and down to get boxes. Note that most of the things we got for the video had to be ordered off Amazon and a few other websites. I really had to time everything properly, especially since it's the place my girlfriend is going to be working from. Now, a few days ago, I sort of kicked her out so I could have all of the space to myself. I needed enough room to build and bring some of the chairs I had to ask my dad to bring with his SUV. This is where I usually regret not getting that RS6. Anyhow, clearing her space and opening a few boxes really started the process of putting things together. I got her a white monitor arm, some proper lighting thanks to Govi, some dryer organizers, and great Logitech peripherals. Now, besides the fact I bought the Lyra lamp out of pocket, Govi were kind enough to send a nice air purifier and some other lighting goodies to make this setup incredible. The only thing I wanted to add besides those lighting accessories was the Elgato key light. It's mainly in order to make sure she would get a nice overhead cast of light for her to get work done. I will say I very much appreciate how much Govi has upgraded their products. Not only they are well packaged but they are super easy to build, have solid materials and great aesthetics and they also just work straight out of the box with no hassles. By mistake I sort of misread their lighting strip packaging and thought their TV strip was for desks. Eventually I found out that it wasn't the case. These were like 16 feet long and so there was no way I could install this on the desk. So if you end up buying their lighting strips, please make sure their box specifies that it can be installed practically everywhere. On my end, I did have to cut these but before installing any sort of light strips, I recommend you wipe the frame of your desk with some alcohol wipes most brands provide. I usually am always careful when I stick most strips except this time when it came time to cut these I did cut in the middle of a circuit so avoid doing so. Anyways most lighting strips are super easy to connect, their dongles are easy to stick, wires are long enough to tidy them up and overall very easy to cable manage if done right. Before I continue with the build though I tested them to make sure we were all good cause after you clamp things up going back is hell. Oh and just be careful when clamping make sure you leave a bit of space between the clamp and the strip to avoid damaging it. By the way, I did F up, I mistakenly bought the wrong monitor arm. I sort of realized it after I unboxed the key light, installed it and powered it up. But the next day, I passed by Canada's computer to buy another one and went to a whole bunch of other stores to complete the setup. Look, if you are watching the setup makeover, there's one key thing you should take away with you. Besides freeing up your desk by getting a nice soundbar, save as much as you can so you can get yourself a ThinkPad dock. A proper dock like this one will allow you to have all of your connections in one single spot. This means that when you dock your laptop using a stand, you truly only have to fetch one single wire to connect all of your peripherals and charge your laptop. For example, 
To make things nicer, I got a coiled cable that will connect to her MX Mechanical to make sure it's always charging, an MX Master 3S with a dongle, and the Brio 500 webcam to upgrade from her laptop webcam. I also got her a nice pair of headphones in case she needs some immersive audio, but these connect over Bluetooth. Regardless of me getting her these headphones, I'm pretty sure she might not always want to use them as a mic for calls all the time, so I got her a Rode mic instead. This one here is a whole kit, meaning there's no need to buy an app because it connects through USB. PC, and there's no need to buy a boom arm because it comes with its own stand. Just FYI, make sure you get some USB-C to USB-A cables because if you get this dock, you don't have many USB-C ports. Now our home studio is a bit small so I need to make some room to unbox the chair. This gigantic box here came from Herman Miller and it houses a chair I've been practically waiting for the past like 2-3 months. It is a gaming chair but Herman Miller makes some of the best chairs and so I was dying to try it out. Luckily, these pretty much come all assembled which is super nice. The only thing is that when I first sat on it, I wasn't too impressed with it so I'm excited to see how this chair evolves. The last thing I really wanted to do that day was simply install our Hector light. It was getting a bit dark and I wanted to make sure I got some more lighting at night. FYI, these are a bit of a pain to install but once they are up, if you pair them up with a Philips Hue, they look pretty nice and are easy to use. The next day, I actually brought her a monitor to replace the ultra wide. I'll explain in the reveal why exactly I did so, and uh, I also brought Jan with me to help out with the rest. But essentially, I brought him so we could pretty much install our overhead lighting setup. Installing these things definitely take a bit of time, but once the dome is built and clipped into the light source, all you need to do is calculate its positioning, drill the holes, screw it into the wall, and voila! The light source should help if your space is small and dark at times. Now, Ugmunk did send us some goodies. I was actually super excited to see these on the desk because we got a few nice little goodies that honestly really made this whole desk complete. I'm really excited to show you guys in the reveal. Eventually, I got to clean this whole freaking mess I made because all of the tech we've been unboxing. I'm actually pretty happy that the monitor arm I got that day had some nice paddings to protect the desk when clamping it onto the table. Once I was able to mount this monitor onto the VESA mount and routing the cables for a clean cable management look, I spent a bit of time cleaning the back of the desk to make sure things look clean on the front. The only regret I had that day was the fact that I had to paint this whole pegboard in brown. We think it turned out okay, but I guess the most important part is to make sure the bracket is properly installed just because once it is, I can just go get another one and paint it in another color. Now, the same way we installed this bracket, we installed the shelves and they actually turned out pretty nice. If you do end up getting the chalkboard, just note it is nothing like installing the pegboard or the shelves. A few nails just get the whole job done. I think this is definitely a must in a space. Some other things you guys should consider getting is definitely a laser printer. It'll save you some money and will make your life easier. Pair that with a shredder to get rid of unwanted personal info, a proper multi-outlet plug for the wall, and make sure your cable managed the whole thing properly. The rest of the night was pretty much spent trying to decorate the shelves. We definitely wanted that nice minimal look. We also organized the drawer from the Ergon office filing cabinet. I installed the freshly painted pegboard on the wall, decorated it, unboxed all of our Ogmon goodies, and asked my girlfriend which mat she preferred. We ended up going with a darker one from Harbor London. At last, other than her numpad, she really wanted to have a proper diffuser, and this here is definitely the proper diffuser we were looking for. I read this little guy in the corner of her desk, but before turning this thing on, just make sure guys to remove the packaging paper the filter itself has. Before the big reveal, I just spent some time setting the proper heights for the desk, adding a few extra touches, connecting all of our Govi goodies to the network, and very much tested all of our lighting through Google Home. So I very much try to cater this setup to most of you going into busy season and it doesn't necessarily need to be for people in accounting but also in finance, economics, I mean you name it. 
The setup is simple, we went with an Ergon Office standing desk paired with a Govi light strip, a 72 inch by 30 inch solid wood oak tabletop with RGB lighting with white raising legs, mainly because I know my girlfriend would want to stand up a bit more with great lighting during those long working hours. I did preset this exactly to the way she wanted it, whether that's for when she's standing up or sitting down, this desk really caters to her. And the fact that she can control most of her lighting devices through the Govi app and Google Home makes things a lot easier and the impressive thing is that after all that cable management work we did I was still able to hide most of the cables and most of the mess we had going on now of course most of you will practically stand about 20 to 30 percent of the time and so making sure you get a proper chair is super important I don't know if it's a thing within big force but tech companies do give high budget for people working from home I would suggest you allocate that budget and invest that in a proper chair this here is the Herman Miller Vantam in white. I really wanted this to be a banger of a chair, but for the price, it's not. I strongly suggest you check out the Embody instead, but if it was around $500, I would definitely recommend this. It of course is a comfortable chair, don't get me wrong, but I wish the foam was more premium, the features made a bit more sense, and the plastic mechanisms for the headrest was different. Overall, when sitting down, I wanted to make sure the desk and the chair together delivered a straight view into the monitor. A monitor I've paired with a Logitech Bryo 500 webcam and an Elgato key light. There's nothing fancy about the webcam except for the fact that it has an integrated camera cover and the mics are actually very decent. This is mainly just in case you're out of budget and you find the Rode NT-USB too expensive. The key light is expensive as well but I absolutely love this thing. It's for gamers but instead of having a monitor light bar, I thought a key light would definitely deliver a lot more light for the desk. On her end, she likes doing lots of writing, reading papers, making sure her agenda is proper and whatnot. And Elgato really makes it super easy to be able to customize the lighting features within their software. Now the monitor itself, it's a LG 4K 160Hz gaming monitor. I know, what the hell, gaming? Save your money guys, stick with LG and get something like the 32UN500W. The reason as to why I brought this here is because it's replacing the ultra wide monitor I thought she would like. So mistake number one on my end, ultra wides, calls and sharing screens is a total mess. Every time her team asks her to present something on screen, the software takes the full ultra wide resolution and makes things super small. So she asked me if we could stick with a regular monitor instead, which is why I recommend getting a 32 inch 4K panel to have enough screen real estate and don't worry, it really doesn't have to be USB-C. Reason why is because most of you have ThinkPads as your work laptop and so what I recommend doing is asking your company to supply you with a dock, specifically the ThinkPad dock. I very much rigged this whole thing for her to be able to connect all of her peripherals with one single cable. With this amazing wooden laptop stand I got from Ergon Office, she can dock her laptop and use the USB-C connection to connect all of it. Things such as the MX Master 3S, the Logitech Mechanical in white with custom window keys and a coiled USB-C wire, her USB-C microphone, of course the monitor paired with the webcam and her numpad, Yes, a, a numpad. She does a lot of work on Excel and with her accounting software, so she cannot live without one. Plus, this little guy here looks so good and was quite inexpensive at around 50 bucks. A lot of this stuff sits on a Harbor London Rolfeld mouse mat in gray. That also houses a Ugg Monk pen tray for this beautiful multifunctional pen they sent. It's actually cool because it's a 3-in-1 pen, so it has black ink, red ink and a mechanical pencil. It very much is a perfect pen for her. There are some things I couldn't fit on the map though like these aesthetically pleasing magnetic scissors, her USB-C mic that replaces the internal mics of the webcam, some Ugmunk valid trays to store extra pens, a stapler and whatnot, this amazing handy power bar outlet and finally a must in any household, a humidifier that can also be used as a diffuser. I did pair this with the air quality monitor to automate things for her. It allows for the purifier to very much monitor the temperature and humidity with the monitor, especially since things tend to get a bit more dry during winter times. It's always nice having a little device that with the app can generate 15 dates of data to see how the room air quality has improved. I honestly suggest you check out Govi's products, especially since Black Friday is just around the corner.
As a whole, the way we've laid out most of these things on her desks allows for her to still have lots of room. Reason why we did this is because she gets annoyed about not having enough space for all of her books, papers, notes, sheets, and so on. Exactly why I think for many of you, having speakers is not that necessary, which is why I think pairing it all with a soundbar is even better. Connect it to your Sonos app, put on some music, and let it live outside your work laptop. You can just use the Zone Vibe 100 if you need an immersive audio experience for work. And so the big picture here is simple. Get items that help you get work done quicker by making it fun. An example of that is the analog productivity system I got for her. I tried making her use the notes app for the longest time when it comes to to-do lists, but she refuses. So I think something like this might be her solution to keep things tidy, fun, and organized. The same thing goes with a chalkboard I got on Amazon. With those extra colored chalks, you can very much make use of this whole calendar in a fun way. Chalks that live in a very nicely set up IKEA pegboard. The only thing is that I'm not too sure if I'm finally a fan of how the color turned out it definitely needs a replacement however at least i can say that the shelves with these little accessories and the filing cabinet organizers turned out great plus the printer on it fits perfectly it's small easy to access and it's laser technology as a whole i very much illuminated this space thanks to govi they supplied this video with a bunch of other lights but i think these ones were very much the perfect combo for this space it all connects through google home as you previously saw by using the govi app and some smart switches I got. I just added this little plant here with an IKEA plant holder just to hide some of the mess the shredder, Lyra lamp, and some cables create. Look, this is the setup I've built based on my girlfriend's experience as a senior CPA accountant. I took her recommendations, listened to her experience, and very much built upon that. I very much hope this definitely can help you guys make the next few months easier. I'll leave links to all the products we've used down below, so make sure to check them out. This has been another desk setup makeover for me. I will see you all soon. Take care.